this mass suicide, victims adhere to the Mayan calendar, which predicts the end of time to occur on the 21st of December of 2012. I thought we'd have more time. We all feel that you need to create a combination of real and computer-generated images. Hold on tight! Roland, because of his experience, is quite clear of what he likes to see real and where he thinks that it's best for the visual effects to take over. As much as we can, we want to shoot this for real. What can you do for real? There's cars being dropped from cranes, smashing on the ground. So whenever we can get the real thing, we'll take it. When you talk about earthquakes, you know, normally you shake the camera and the actor was acting like the, the floor was shaking. He's like kind of busy here. But I thought, you know, that you have to go a step beyond that in a modern movie. For us to make it as real as possible was to shake everything. I told him, just make a big floor shake. <laughs> went through 500,000 tons of steel just to build all of these shaky decks. We basically have a hydraulic and air pneumatic system that will basically shake it back and forth. Probably have done some of, the, some of the biggest rigs that I've ever seen. They were like 8,000 square feet so that he could put cars on it, put trucks, planes. So we're moving roughly around 60,000 pounds back and forth. Here we go, folks, are we ready? I still remember the first time we shot the big shaky floor. It was quite frightening for the whole crew. Those sets can give you enormous amount of violent reactions. It really allows the actor to walk on a floor uh, that is as if they are in an earthquake. Oh, and he puts an entire city street with palm trees, concrete, the facades of houses, all on these huge uh, movers. And he has literally the whole two, three city blocks rippling and moving. Everything shakes, and you cannot help shaking, too. The capital! Look at the capital! Working with practical effects is really important for us and will always be important for us. Go! What we do is combine a set and prop point of view with CG work. And I think it's the best way for the audience to really feel that it's real.